So, in the last episode, we tamed up this amazing 180 Shadow Mane. It's a female, but we're definitely going to need a male. And today, that is the plan. I want to try and tame up a Shadow Mane, but I don't want to just, you know, do it the exact same way I did it in the last episode. I want to learn from this experience. So, a lot of you in the comments were saying that if you feed fish 1.4 and above, it doesn't drop any levels while you're taming. So, obviously, when I tamed this one, it should have come out as a 269, which most 180s do when you get 99.999% taming effectiveness, but it came out as a uh, 267. So, you know, we lost two levels, which isn't a major thing. You know, I can deal with that. But at the same time, I want to at least get a 180 fully 100% tamed. Although, you know what I mean? You can't actually get 100%. Or maybe you can on these creatures because you can on some creatures. All right, that's besides the point. My point here today is that I want to try and do that. Now, if we feed 1.4 and above times uh, fish, then we can hopefully do that. I want to test that out. I want to test out that theory that... Uh, the thing that I've been getting tons and tons of comments about. But I also want to actually try to trap a Shadow Mane. Because I figured that you couldn't do this. Because, I don't know, they just... They didn't really seem like something that you could trap. Because they could teleport. So, everybody's saying that you can. I want to give that a go. I want to see if we can do this. And tame it up a lot easier that way. Obviously, that's going to help out. Because then it's not going to run off and run into danger. So, definitely a major benefit. But, um, yeah. And also, like... <laughs> we don't... We, we can hopefully maybe, like separate a male and a female in that case and i don't have to kill the other creature because like that shadow main that we did tame obviously most of the video was me just failing constantly until i decided to actually get stuff done properly and then i did that and then brought you guys in and, and then we saw the tame and everything but there was actually 174 with that 180 and it was very crushing to have to kill it even though its stats weren't amazing i would love to tame the two of them back to back but it's just very difficult when one is beside the other. So maybe by doing traps, we could hopefully uh, avoid having to kill the second one if it's a good level or, you know, try and separate them fully. So uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and try and see if we can find any fish. This is going to be the thing that's going to take ages. So most of this uh, video grinding out is just going to be me looking for fish. And then eventually we'll go look for a shadow main and then try and trap it and then bring over the fish. So yeah, here's here's the thing, right? This really, I don't know, this really, like, made me laugh. I got so many comments in the last episode from people saying, since when could you tame fish? What the hell did you think these were for? I'm so confused. I thought people knew that you could do that. Guys, the, the fish basket's been in the game since Aberration. What have you been doing with your life? You could be catching fish. Oh, I have this turned off. Ah, oh, damn it, it's a 1.1. So, um, yeah, I, I was very, I was blown away by the amount of people that didn't know that you could do that. Um, so yeah, you can, you can catch them, you can put the fish into water, and it's your tame, and then you can put them back into the baskets, which is what I've been doing, because they obviously spoil after, uh, 40 minutes. Although, a lot of people were letting me know that if you put the fish baskets onto your hotbar and then submerge yourself into water, it will actually replenish the uh the water on them or the spoil timer or whatever so that's actually really smart you could also do that but i think i'll probably just be collecting a bunch of fish and then trying to keep them in like an area keep them fed and then whenever i want more shadow mains i can go ahead and just pull from that stock unfortunately you can't breed them though i really wish you could do that considering that would make this a whole lot easier so yeah this is the painful part just looking around for fish and i would say that i'm probably gonna have to go through here and kill the majority of these fish because a lot of them are small I did obviously pull up a bunch of fish out of these types of areas and the best way of doing it is uh, just punching them and then getting them to swim off or whatever and then you know or if you have salmon you can go ahead and just uh, obviously get them to Ooh, we got a bunch of piranha behind us we can get the salmon to just kind of come to you if you hit one of them which is great piranha on the other hand are what I would call the cheap method to getting yourself a shadow main you're not gonna be able to get 100% taming effectiveness or even close and it's also going to take you ages because they give like literally not that much uh percentage at all per fish and you want to try and limit it to as little fish feeding as possible so yeah um salmon are, or not salmon piranha are obviously good you know they come to you they're easy to get but like i said it just it's, it's not really worth it i don't think it's actually that worth it so yeah, we're uh, we're gonna be doing it the hard way here today. And honestly, to be honest, like this this whole river system on this map. Oh my god, that's a gigantic fish over there. Oh, we need to catch that big boy. What size are you, buddy? Oh, you've got to be like a 2.3. No way. Okay, I'm catching that one. That is a big ass fish. All right, sweet. So we actually found one on cam, which is great. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, they're freaking piranhas are coming for me. Okay, that's unfortunate. I didn't bring any guns, but I did bring my my pike. That looks like a big. Okay, that's only a 1.2. Never mind. 
All right, uh, we gotta try and catch that salmon, but we gotta deal with these piranhas first. I mean, we could hit it and get it to come to me, but I don't know if I'll do that because there's a lot of salmon in this area, and it looks like there's another big one over there. That might have been the one that we were just looking at, but not 100% sure. Oh my god, die already. There we go, got you. All right, here we go. Let's see, Let's see if we can capture this dude. So the best method is to just dump a bunch of fish baskets everywhere. Eventually, it's gonna swim towards one of them, uh, or, you know, like I said, you could hit them um also works let's see where's this big this big fish oh he went over in this direction all right i don't worry i have more fish baskets i am out of stamina though unfortunately so we're gonna have to pop out of water and land up here and oh by the way guys go ahead do me a favor hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one completely forgot just been rambling about fish for five minutes now ah oh, man all right so yeah i want to try and capture this big boy it's definitely difficult to do this oh is he okay i thought he was coming for me never mind it would actually show up red if he was he is so fast though god damn all right we're gonna have to find a better way of getting him this water here is very deep so it's not ideal so let me go ahead and just pick up these baskets um we're gonna try and get this dude on cam if possible but it might take me like ages to try and get this one the best part about a fish this big is uh it's gonna give a lot of percentage so if you see something this big just capture it like it's gonna take you a while but it's gonna be worth it trust me let's see what level are you you were the other one right you were like a one point oh no that was the 2.3 wait was there two of them or is that the same one i thought he swam off in that direction all right let's just watch him then come on buddy all right here we go i'm just pulling him towards me come on Okay, he's gonna break this basket okay got him amazing look at that i just didn't want to hit him because there's a lot of them around and if you hit one like they're all come they'll all come for you but there we go we got that uh 2.3 yeah uh it's definitely difficult like i said but it's really good let's go ahead and just test this thing out so did that reset it then oh it did awesome let's go ahead and get out and yeah look at that it's reset it's just it's going back to zero on my hop bar though which is weird Huh. All right, so at some point, I'll dump him into some water that it's going to be safe in. And yeah, I'm going to continue to capture a bunch of fish, but probably in waters that aren't so deep. Like, this is really not ideal, so going to look somewhere else in some of these shallower rivers. So I would definitely recommend coming to all these little ponds like this, because as you can see, there's only a few in it. And you can pretty much just quickly check all their levels as well. But the main part is, is that... You can go ahead and just kill them all real quick and they're not really going to be able to get away from you so here we go let's just hit some of them here it's a 1.2 it's good but it's not good enough we we're looking for 1.4s and above here today so just going to kill every single fish here and eventually all of these guys will respawn so just look at these little ponds around the area you're totally going to end up finding at least one big fish in one of them eventually um obviously like the rivers are you know bigger and everything but there's definitely a good amount of them in here no matter what oh that's a massive cluster and i can see a big ass fish that's a 1.4 all right let's just try and get in there there's so many fish in that one spot that's crazy the unfortunate part is there are a couple has foreigners around here so you need to act quick and make sure that the fish don't get killed by them because that would be awful this is perfect all right he's probably ready to capture there we go 1.4 amazing and let me out of the water please thank you oh that's a 1.6 Hell yeah, I'll come over this way, buddy. I've got a basket ready to go. You can't immediately capture them. It takes a little bit for the basket to be ready. I know I have one. Oh, there it is. It's like right on them. Sweet. I knew I had one around there. I just couldn't see it because it's obviously not easy to spot them. This one here is a 1.3. Damn it. All right, so look at that. I mean, like so far, I've been doing this for maybe like 15, 20 minutes so far. And look at that. We've got like three good sized fish. So yeah, honestly, um, just, just put in the time. Get the big fish. You'll be able to tame up a really good shadow main. Like this is uh it's actually not that painful in these little ponds. I was mostly checking the rivers yesterday, so and I guess at the same time I was also going for like anything above like 1.1 or so. So yeah, that was uh I was obviously taking it a little bit easier yesterday, but being a little bit more critical here today, it's definitely gonna be a lot better to check out these small areas instead. And I just realized I left my May Wing somewhere. I'm gonna have to go find that thing after. Um, spyglass obviously is going to work out using your tech suit to kind of like spot their outlines and then just look at the big ish ones. That fish there looks pretty big. It's a 1.3. So close, but not big enough. That one there's a 1.1. I mean, I could probably try and test out some 1.3s, but I feel, I feel pretty confident about the 1.4 thing. So 
hopefully that is correct and if it's not then all those people are getting shadow banned no, i'm just kidding it's fine i mean the dlc did just come out so i can't really blame people for like spreading misinformation which is what happens a lot of the time so it's okay i mean i'm sure i do it as well not on purpose but you know uh, let's see there's like no fish in here uh there is a starco though i think it'd be great if you could feed them sharks could you imagine like a tamed shark you could just like feed that to them that would be amazing you could just like tame up a bunch of sharks really easily and then just feed them to shadow maids honestly that would probably be easier than looking for fish it really would um we don't really have any big ones here yeah they're kind of small there we go massive clusters just appear like this there's just tons of them most of these ones here are smallish though i don't really see any decent sized ones in there so i'm just gonna assume that they're all small um all right cool so we're actually pretty close to the spot that waterfall over there is the spot where i'm storing them um i want to try and maybe find a spot that's closer to me that has deeper water we do have them in the little like plant species x uh building thing right beside where i live but i'm a little bit nervous because i'm pretty sure that if i mess up putting them in they actually will probably die because if you try to place a fish out of water it just instantly dies so don't don't do that uh 1.3 okay oh this one maybe no 1.3 as well it's really hard to tell because they some of them honestly do look really big but yeah damn it all right well you know what seeing some kind of like right beside where i need to be i'm just gonna go ahead and put these fish away uh like i said um in the previous episode if well it's not technically the previous one but you know what i mean if you um if you have fish and they're out and they're tamed you can't expect them to eat out of out of feeding troughs they do not do that they will only eat um the food inside their inventory so as you can see it's actually been a bit about a day or two since i had those fish but all of these ones here are too small um these ones here probably oh they actually haven't been starving really at all i guess because they're not loaded in nobody's really out here so yeah this is pretty handy all right so i'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of all these fish because we don't need them anymore um they're not gonna be big enough this one here is a 1.3 oh wow that's broken great well, I guess we're not going to kill them. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and dump out my other little fishies. So there you go. 1.4. They won't move around or anything like that. Let's place the 2.3 beside it. Like, look at the size difference between these two. Holy crap. That thing's a freaking shark. And then, you know what? Let's place the other fish on this side as well. I think that was a 1.4, right? Let's place... Oh, that was a 1.6. Look at the size of that compared to the salmon. I mean, obviously, it makes sense that they're bigger, but, like, that is crazy. Yeah, so, um, I'm gonna continue doing this. Like I said, it's probably gonna take a long-ass time before I have the right amount of fish that I'm gonna need to get this all done and, um, and everything. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just spend a lot of time looking for this stuff, and hopefully I can get this video out in time. All right, so I want to just test this out and see if this will work out well, so... Let's just test this out on this, like, little 24 or whatever. Um, right there. We're just going to build a little 2x2 two two trap. Don't worry, by the way, if they stand up and move like that. That's just them coming in and out of their sleeping animations. So right now, it should be good. We got a minute to do this as well. Like, these nets are insane. They last for so long. And one more to place. There we go. Cool. All right. And we got to place down these. Oh, my God. This is kind of terrifying. We should have a good amount more time left, though. Oh, I messed up there. Uh oh we pick that up Ooh. and then i want to just place down these walls okay now i'm just gonna run i don't want to be near here when it wakes up and gets out so i'm just gonna get out of here we'll just see if we can like deload it and oh my god get out of my way stego Let's gonna see if we can like deload it and then hopefully we'll still be inside that trap are we far enough away probably not let's just keep going we can always just circle back and check it out I also have some ceilings, which are probably not necessary, but I just want to test and see if this will actually work. So I have door frames on the bottom, mainly so I can feed the fish, but I've been told that apparently you can just do it with just like normal walls and it's like butt sticks through a lot on one of the sides. And yeah, I, I don't really want to take that risk. I want to use the door frames. Plus I'm pretty sure those are cheaper anyway. So this could be a cheaper trap. Now, whether or not this works out just as well is another story. Gotta wait for this thing to be asleep, though. So we gotta just chill here for a little bit. There we go. Okay, it's falling asleep. That's good. So I just want to see what will happen once I feed it. Will it stay inside the trap or will it teleport out? That is the question. So let's crouch from here. We got a fish on the bar ready to go. 
Just probably gonna approach it from this side. I guess another good way of actually, you know, telling which side it's facing is, you know, we can actually see it through these door frames. So here we go. Feed. There we go. We've done that. So it's still in there, right? It should be. Might have gotten out, though. All right, hang on. Let me see. Where? Oh, wrong one. Where are you? When the hell did... Who Who started taming a Lystro? What? That wasn't me. Huh. All right, here we go. It's still in there. Yeah, this is uh this clearly works. The only thing I can kind of think of is if something else came in and it went it wanted to attack that thing, it could probably teleport through that and get directly to them. Maybe. Or maybe it can teleport up and out. I don't know if it could actually go through walls. I imagine one that's tamed can't go through walls, but you never know with with arc sometimes. So yeah, this thing is technically like still there somewhere. There it is. Oh, now it's lying down again. Nice. So, yeah, clearly this is the way to do it. I mean, I didn't have too bad of a time taming it out by itself, like out in the open. The main part was... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crap. <laughs> I forgot to move that. The main part was, um, you know, actually uh, getting really good fish for it and everything. Getting enough fish. But, yeah, we're, we're learning along the way. Like, trial and error. You know, yesterday was good. We did really good. But at the same time, we could have done better. And today, I think we might be able to do better. So... Now I know this works, I'm going to go ahead and release this one. Because um, I obviously, you know, I don't really need this. So I'll probably just go ahead and kill it, actually. I thought I had my tech suit on. That's embarrassing. Um, let's go ahead and just kill this one real quick. So if we're just high up enough. To be honest, you know what? Just so it doesn't teleport at me, I'm just going to net at it. All right, so there we go. It's dead. I've got all my stuff back. Now we just need to find a high level. So that is probably not going to be too difficult. I will have a little luck before I head back. Maybe we can actually trap it. And then head back, grab our fish, come back, and hopefully it's still going to be inside of the trap. Um, more than likely, it, it probably will be if we leave it, you know, if we leave the area when it's asleep, especially, then it might actually stay in that sleeping animation. You see, if it's walking and it's walking towards the wall and I'm loading in the wall, it could probably walk through the wall before I load it in. So, you know, the creatures load in before structures is what I'm trying to say, so... It's possible that that can happen. That's why, you know, if you're putting creatures in Wander or whatever, to have, like, a nice big base with a bunch of creatures walking all over the place, you'll probably find them outside of your base at some point. So, uh, here we go. Now we just need to find some Shadow Mains. They're usually pretty much all over this area here, but I actually don't see any right now. Let me check over here. Oh, I actually got some really good loot out of one of these drops, by the way. Some really nice Ride Armor and then a Uteranus Saddle Blueprint. So, very nice loot. I gotta say, the loot on here is actually really, really good. So, very happy about that. Alright, come on, Shadow Mains. Where are you? Ooh, hello. 30... Oh, 180 in there. Wait, was that a 180 packy? Oh, it was. Wait, well, oh, no, no, there's a 180. Wait, I'm so confused. Is that a... Yeah, this one here is a 180. Oh, my God. It's so hard to tell sometimes when they're moving around everywhere. So that's another female 180 with like the coolest colors ever. Holy crap. That one's amazing. It's with a 156 and a 30. Ah, <sighs> that's very tempting. And I do want it. So what I'll do is I'll try to just remember this area. Do I have my GPS? I do not. Okay. Where am I? I know roughly where I am. I'm actually not too far. That's the little mountain peak where we tamed the last one in the last episode. So, yeah, I'll remember this spot. I'll, I'll try and remember this spot at least. Um, <laughs> once I know I've got my male 180 tamed, if I can find one, hopefully, um, then at that point I'll come back and I'll try and tame up that one. But we might need some more fish. I do have a good amount of them and a lot of really big ones as well. You guys will see. But, um, yeah, I just don't know if I have, you know, enough to tame up two. And I definitely want to spend the fish on a male rather than a female. <gasps> that is like the coolest looking one. I want that. It's so awful in terms of level, but like, oh, that is such a nice color. It's got purple. It's got blue. It's got green. Like, ah, oh, that one's so cool. I love it. I really do. God damn it. <laughs> it's such a terrible one, though. We have more over here. I think so. There we go. 180. Oh, that's a nice color as well. It's got like red and it's purple. And it's fighting a... Uh, Kentro. Is it going to be okay? It might actually need a little hand here. Uh, let's just double check this. we got to get a little bit closer. How hurt are the two of you? 
Cantro is about to die. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, okay, so its mates are down here. They're both low levels. That's the female. I mean, I think those are its mates. I don't see any around here. I see some over there. 102, 114. They're kind of far away. Yeah, this one's... I don't know if it's with those guys or those guys. They usually spawn in in minimum packs of two, but sometimes three. And maybe this one spawned in a pack of three, or else its mate actually died. Right there is not ideal, so... Trying to tame it there is not going to be great. we got to wait for it to get up and move. All right. So we could probably do this. We could probably trap it like right along there. We want a roughly like flat area. So mm, it's not great. Maybe if I could get it down here, that would be good. So if it moves down here by itself, that's great. But if not, we might have to aggro it. Mm, that's not ideal, but we'll see. Let's see about doing this. They didn't aggro on me, so we might be good. All right. I think we're good. Let's see if we can do this then. Oh, that is very... Oh, crap. It's also charged up as well. That's terrifying. Okay. I'm just going to ignore these bugs for the moment. There we go. Like that. Yeah, this is not ideal. I'm just getting ripped apart by these bugs, but I don't have time to stop and fight them. Ah, that's annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick those those fence foundations back up. I can't keep taking damage while trying to trap this thing. These bugs are just everywhere, unfortunately. All right, got it netted. Let's see about trying to trap this thing now. All right, there we go. And now the walls. We're gonna have a little snack in there for it. <laughs> There's a little packy rhinosaurus in case it gets hungry. I can't find out where the last wall needs to go. Is it over here? There it is. Okay, and then the top walls. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here. It's lying down. So if it's still lying down right now, we should be good to leave this area. No, it's not lying down. I think I might... Let's just get out of render distance and then I'll come back and just double check that it's still in the trap. And then we're going to probably have to wait till the next day before we try to get it tamed. Maybe we might. Because it is kind of getting a little bit late in this day and I'll need to drop back and grab all my stuff. And yeah, might have to wait. So yeah, hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's good. Okay, so this might be enough fish baskets. We're going to try and just put all of our fish away and then head straight over and see if we can do this. So as you can see, I've got so many big ones here. Obviously, the salmon are just big in general, but you can actually see I've got like 1.7, uh, another 1.7. That's a 2.3. I'm looking at the coelacanth for that, by the way. I know I always call them coal, by the way. I do know how to actually pronounce their actual name. I just want to want to make that clear because people think that I... <laughs> By the way, I also know how to pronounce wyvern. I've I've just been doing it this way for years, just uh just because I know it annoys people, and I don't know why, but that that makes me it makes me smile. <laughs> I just get comments all the time like, "Hey, by the way, it's pronounced like this," and I'm like, "Oh, really?" <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and put some of these dudes away. Oh my god, that's a gigantic salmon. I think that's our biggest one, by the way. I wonder how much knowledge it has. All right, let's see. One more to go. I gotta wait for you to be ready. So in total, um, we will have, what is that? 12 big fish. Now, most of these are like really, really big. So even though that's not that many, we should have enough to actually get this done. Maybe even two, actually. We got a bunch of random other creatures in the water here. I keep finding like raptors and stuff, like just drown in the water, which is hilarious. So let's see. Let's go ahead and just chuck these into there. And now we just gotta head straight over get back to the shadow main hopefully it's still inside the trap if not i can get it back in really easily and uh then we should be good to go with this taming so yeah i'll see you guys when we're over there all right so it's still in the trap that's good we do have a spino here now which is kind of annoying but we can easily kill that guy or lead him off this way that could also work actually let me do that come on buddy follow me over here all right, I'll probably just need to like double check and clear the rest of the area because we don't want that thing teleporting out of the trap. That would be bad. But I think we're good to go besides all this stuff. There we go. Spino is out of the way. What else is over here? It will probably go for the Pachyrhinosaurus. So I should probably move them and then kill the Dillos and stuff. So I'll just clean up the area. 
and then I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, so it's sleeping again. I'm going to start by giving it the biggest fish we have, which is this 2.4 salmon. So let's get around the other side. We just got to crouch when we get close. You can actually just walk normally when you're like pretty decently far away. Hopefully it's not going to wake up immediately here. All right, let's do this. There we go. Did it. And now let's just back away. And it should still be in there. All right. I'm just I'm going to get over here. Okay, that's the dung beetle. I thought there was like a dillo or something coming. All right. What are we at now? Uh, 20% already. Damn. All right. That's awesome. So now we just need to wait for it to fall asleep again. Fortunately, we'll know exactly when it's planning on doing that because currently it's actually a, it's uh, invisible. So... All right, and it's falling back asleep. Amazing. All right, sweet. So, yeah, this should be pretty straightforward. Like, the trap is going to be great because it keeps it in the same spot. Um, and it also keeps it safe. You know, it, it means that it won't get near anything. But then also using the biggest fish possible is important as well. That gave more. I think it likes coelacanths more because that was a 2.3 as opposed to a 2.4 feel like it probably gets more taming percentage out of those guys unless level also matters which in in which case i have no idea i don't think level matters but i'm not exactly sure what level those guys were well we do have another another salmon here this is only level 24 and it's also a 2.3 so i guess we'll see if this one gives like barely any then i guess level also matters so yeah if it does though like honestly there's no way you're gonna actually manage to get super high level fish that are also big you know fish their their size is just a different scale it doesn't actually relate to level at all you can find a level six uh max freaking size fish which i think is 2.7 so it's worth noting that so let's get in here do our next feed and hopefully level actually doesn't matter because that honestly would just be awful let's see let's feed him from this side over here there we go. Nice. That gave 21-ish percent as well. Maybe maybe it's given the same amount of percent. Maybe I'm just being a dum-dum. I guess I can like do a proper breakdown of how much it got per feed afterwards. But as you can see, though, it's not losing any levels at all. I'm curious. I'm curious if it will lose 0.01%. Very curious about that. So those are our three biggest fish. I think all the rest are like a lot smaller. Here's a 1.7%. I also have another 1.7. Um, let's keep an eye on this dude. So yeah, uh, the trap is, is is a really great idea. Definitely would recommend doing this. And there's probably better traps out there. Like, honestly, I just threw this one together as best I could because I was thinking, okay, we need it to be big enough. And I don't want to have to try and lead one in because they're kind of terrifying. Um, so if we could just trap it while it's netted, then it makes the most sense to me. You could probably... Oh no 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 don't ruin this for me you could probably try to um ooh, that was scary it lost 0 0.02 percent though i just saw that that's fine though because like that's that's normal you know creatures don't usually come out at like you know 100 percent um what was i even saying <laughs> i can't even remember now i just got so distracted by that bulb dog okay it's coming back in let's get back in ourselves Freaking bulb dog almost ruined this for me, but we're okay. All right, second to last feed. Boom. One more after this. One more feed. So this time I'm going to give it a 1.4 because we don't necessarily need to give it a super big one. Um, and if, if what has been told to me is true, then, you know, like anything above 1.4 should do plus all of these have been really high above 1.4 so far so please do not aggro him yeah that's right run away you little turd all right is it back is it coming back any second now and hopefully this comes out as a 269 boom 269 perfect that's a perfect tame well goddamn look at that what are your stats, buddy? Ooh, that melee is really good. Yeah, that melee is really nice, actually. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and put you away real quick. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and just chuck you out there. And yeah, so this trap is not 
not very expensive obviously you just need eight of each of these things walls uh door frames and fence foundations and really really easy you don't need mods to do this you could do this on official and all that good stuff uh, obviously picking them up is a different thing that i have so but um yeah no that's that's really good i like that a lot um here we go did i get them all back sweet all right so there we go amazing look at this thing though it's beautiful and we also got the max armor as well that is the maximum amount for i think in general but definitely for my server because our other one actually has the exact same amount of natural armor so it's actually really good though like 124 like just even if you got a saddle with that like that's pretty freaking good let's go ahead and just grab that stuff sweet and oh hey an egg just a regular one but still all right let me check you out then so the colors are kind of like a lavender we got a green we got kind of like an orangey reddish and then we've got that looks like a dark blue or maybe like a black or something it's kind of hard to tell but yeah no this uh the shadow main's really nice actually so uh, we don't have enough fish to get the other one i don't think I, I really don't think that we do we probably will need one more big one so i'll probably just try and sort that between episodes like the, the main point of this one was to try and get a shadow main but also get one that's, uh, you know, going to come out as like a perfect team. So there you have it. I mean, that's amazing. Now we got to at least check out the male and the female together with their little abilities. So I think what I might actually do eventually here is um, maybe make like a little box or something down here. Like just build a little box um, that I could just like store the fish in because flying all the way over to the side of the map where I'm where I've been keeping them is kind of awkward. So definitely would be a little bit nicer if we had something closer to home and actually we could use this little teleporter to get back up all right here we go we got the male and the female together look at this pair we actually got really nice colors because they kind of match just a little bit like we have that red on both of them but the purple oh the purple is so good i love this thing this, honestly the males just look so much nicer than the females like the females look cool but like look at the males they've got the massive mane they've got the little feathery bits on the legs um and then they also have like the top fin at the back and the bum as well like this thing is so awesome looking man look at you all right so the ability that they have together is well number one they are actually pack boosted so this one here's the pack leader obviously uh because it's the male even though the female is a higher level the male i think always will be the pack leader no matter what to go ahead and do that as you can see yeah the, the female isn't the pack leader let me just go ahead and level that so we can actually see and let me level hmm what do i want to level on you let's level your health so i'll take a look at the stats that i got on the female and just kind of compare them and whatnot after but like oh man so yeah the male no matter what level it is will always be, be the pack leader and if you have multiple males then i imagine the highest level male would be the pack leader so look at these dudes oh man all right so the female should we check out the females one yeah let's check out the females ability so here you go let's go ahead and get our little maywing over here so the female if you hit x has the ability to camouflage other creatures along with the male boom so everybody's camouflaged now the male can move at full speed while the female will have to like crawl like this which is kind of annoying but it is what it is can we hop off and keep it invisible oh we can oh that's good so now yeah i can move the male around at like full speed right now but it's still invisible and if we go outside of that uh barrier then it should stop being invisible there we go and then if we come back it doesn't oh there we go yeah yeah so the barrier is probably maybe like five or six foundations and distance maybe something like that pretty cool um so then let's stop being invisible there for a second <laughs> all right gotta hit x again to remove that that is a very nice ability like um the fact that you can just like hide a whole pack of creatures oh that's very nice all right so then we have the male and if we hit x it's going to do a pack roar so boom so that's going to have stamina and torpidity uh recovering and movement speed increase so yeah it's pretty cool and also we do have the little pack leader bonus up the top along with the other pack leader bonus so right now we have the little purple glow that's how you know that you have it so let me just take these dudes out at the same time oh my god they're so fast right now and we can also get the hydration buff as well like this is ridiculous how good these things are they're honestly gonna be nerfed i think especially this ability where you can like target a bunch of things i definitely can see that getting nerfed all right let's see let's 
do our wait i hit the wrong button i was hitting c there we go our little bonus roar you gotta bear in mind we're actually hitting a stego here so reduce damage in general come on get this thing killed what are you how come you're not helping me bud all right maybe should we fight this bronto then i gotta say i definitely prefer the male's ability because like the ability to like boost yourself up a little bit more is a lot nicer than just invisibility which to be honest i like that but i'm not going to use that that much especially out and about oh look at you oh my god wait 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 i should get both of them boosted up like this with their alt oh by the way one more thing that i actually forgot to mention during the last episode i did know it but then i kind of like forgot it somehow um so once you have the alt which is this my bar is fully charged up if you use that you can and then you kill something it recharges it completely and that's the wrong button damn it i hit the wrong button hang on boom there we go so i used the alt and that is a ridiculous amount of damage and it completely recharged my next one so if something's looking like it's almost dead you can use it and then bam look at that that's insane so i want to get the female boosted up as well so i'm gonna put you into passive oh i'm in k mode and let me go ahead and get this female all boosted and then just look at the two of them together Okay, we gotta fight something else a little bit uh do we have we have some stuff here i guess we'll just fight this trike okay there we go nice and we gotta fight this other trike and we are boosted oh serious thinking that i'm talking to her for some reason all right let's see let me look at these two together all boosted up super sane freaking kaioken mode look at that oh my god that is so cool looking these things are amazing so yes that is the shadow main that is how you get one 100 effectiveness and uh that is the end of this video so guys if you have enjoyed it go ahead do me a favor hit the like button oh that's terrifying <laughs> and if you want to see more like this you can of course subscribe and of course do you even have to ask of course we're going to be doing mutations on these things of course we'll, we'll get there we'll get there we'll do it it's going to be amazing but that's all for another day <laughs>